I mean, do you actually believe that we're gonna find the owner, the real owner? We can actually track uh, the true owner down from there? I don't know. Hello, Monsieur Lin. Ah, the delectable Nicole Collard, Super Sleuth. How may I be of service? Super Sleuth. Uh, interesting that uh, the waiter is uh, still outside there. Maybe he's gonna eavesdrop? I don't know. I was hoping I'd find you here. Always available for a lovely lady such as yourself. Oh, I guess we're sitting down. Want a squirt? Well, I cannot offer him that. Did I show you my press card? The sticky one. Maybe you should order a replacement. The sticky one. Mm hmm. Namara Dixio's owner? Hmm. Would he know? I really don't know. Henri's death, it must be so very hard for you. It really does look like that. <laughs> yes, I shall miss him deeply. We had such a very special relationship. The loss is so hard to endure, even for a man of such inner strength as myself. Hmm. I'm writing a follow-up piece on the gallery theft. Ah, so you need an inside view. Authoritative. Something like that. The police have finished in the gallery. We could chat in the office. It's much more comfortable. More intimate. Ah, uh, no. I might even be able to rustle up a little bottle of champagne. You're not the owner of the gallery, though. How would you uh, have a key? Maybe later. I have some things to do first. Well, if that's the case, that means that he does uh, have a key. We're probably gonna need to steal it from him. Maybe next time, then. What do you know about the owner of La Maladic Seal? That was Henri's business. He found the painting and did the deal with the owner. Hmm. Would anybody else know anything about the owner? Not likely. He kept especially quiet about that one. Why is that? But he always kept a manifest for every exhibition. About that manifest? You mentioned a manifest. How would one get a look at that? One might start in the office. That's where Henri kept most of his paperwork. Uh, does that mean that we can... We will have to go with him? About the gallery. Of course, my dear. We can go there now, if you would like. Yes or no? Oh, well, I guess we... I guess the idea that uh, we're actually going to try and steal the key from him. Hmm. Let me think about that. Thank you, Monsieur Lin. At your service, toujours, madame. Toujours? Someone needs to teach me French. <laughs> Hello, Monsieur Lin. Well, hello again. Did I show you my press? The sticky one. The sticky one. So, how are things in the world of art? As always, intense, exciting, full of passion. An intoxicating blend, don't you think? Would she know? That was clearly Lane's self-image. Would she know? 
So there would have been an inventory of the paintings? Oh yes. Henri was very meticulous like that. Meticulous, hey. I know that word. About the gallery. Oh, the meticulous? Well, I guess that's uh, probably a reference to another playthrough that I'm doing. <laughs> so oh, I don't think people would understand that. Of course, my dear. Actually, no. I wanted to talk about this. You said Henri's manifest might be in the office. Of course, my dear, but that place is full of junk. I have no idea where it might be. About the gallery. Of course. Yeah, let's go in. That sounds great. We can discuss my ordeal over a glass of champagne. Champagne. A cozy chat with Lane was the last thing I wanted. But it was my best hope if I wanted to get a look around the office. So, what are we waiting for? Oh, you opened the door, the door first, which is interesting. After you, my dear. Uh, I hope he is not gonna lock us in. The place was heaving with junk. Finding what I wanted wouldn't be easy. As Lane sat down, something stuck out from beneath the cushion. It looked like a folder. Whatever it was, the police had missed it. I needed to get it. Really? Come, join me on the couch. I'm ready for you. Ugh. <laughs> you will be gentle with me, won't you? What? Oh, I'm never gentle, Monsieur Lane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Do call me Hector. Do I need to grab this and beat the shit out of him, Sofa? Uh, huh. I think before we're actually gonna do that, we're probably gonna have to do a few stuff. The door led back to the gallery. The door led back... I don't think I un... Exit at the moment. Henri had framed some pressed flowers. He had truly terrible taste. <laughs> Henri had... I guessed it was Henri's guitar. It had to be for sure. I mean, I don't know. He might actually know how to play it too. I guessed it was Henri's... The record that was playing in... Uh... In his house was Come, sit down. was uh, wasn't that bad actually. There was nothing special about the clock. There was nothing special. It was an old CCTV system. The CCTV system was an old VHS model. Damn VHS. The CCTV. VHS. God damn. Where do, where can you put the VHS? No. Oh. VHS tape. It was a decorative pipe. It was a decorative pipe. There's no such thing as decorative uh, pipe. And rolling the shisha. There was nothing in the bin. There was nothing in the bin. The lamp was still on. It looked tacky. The lamp was still on. I'm quite judgmental of you, by the way, uh... Nico. Everything is not up to your par. It was a poster for a Stockholm music festival. The headline was a group called The Hairy Lobsters. It was a poster. Weird name. 
It I was guess. An old phone. The phone was vintage. Probably uh, as old as uh, as that festival. Henri's notice board was covered in mementos. I didn't see anything that might tell me the name of La Maledictio's owner. I didn't see... Mm. Only the bus module? I'd always dreamed about owning a VW van. Oh no, why Nico? <laughs> With what I earned, I'd never own one of those. Damn, she's a zoomer? She cannot own uh, a car? I'd always dreamed about owning- Well, I guess, uh, I guess it's a millennial thing in the West as well. Like, millennials don't own property or cars for some reason in the West. I don't know why. Well, but the, you know, in Come big cities, over here, my dear. in big cities at least, it is understandable. Everything is expensive, especially in, in terms of we're talking about owning uh, property. Owning a car, though, might not be uh, uh, might not be convenient if you live in a in a, a city where you know you have uh, at least a uh, good public transportation. Not to my taste. I can understand that. Not to my taste. I could see the street. The street was quiet. The street was... Lane had slumped deep into this sofa. <laughs> She's disgusted. Come, sit down. Sit down, my dear. It wasn't a pretty sight. It wasn't a pretty sight. Well, I guess it never is. A wonderfully painted nude. The signature read, Tanya R. Tanya R? Tanya? Top Tanya? A wonderfully painted nude. The signature read, the bottles were completely empty. I had a feeling that Lane had enjoyed quite a few drinks in here. Mm. I had a feeling... Uh, should I start checking these? Am I even allowed? The gallery looked empty. Oh, that's it? The gallery was completely empty. So, I guess we can't do anything uh, other than that. I couldn't search the desk while Lane was there. Mm. Can't even check this guy's uh, penis? At least Henri had the sense to keep his statue to himself. <laughs> the statue stood guard over Henri's junk. The statue st Hmm. Are you implying that there's some sort of a camera here? I wasn't going to play fig leaves with Lane watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I understand that. I understand uh, why you don't want to do that. There was a small hinged fig leaf on the statue. Tasteless, yet strangely intriguing. Oh, no. <laughs> no! There was a small hinge. Well, good thing that uh, we already know that there's no pee pee. In there. Lane had clearly beaten this sofa into submission. The sofa had seen better days. The sofa. Oh no. Hope I can crack a bottle Lane on him. hadn't noticed the folder. With that amount of padding, who would? Oh, why is there like an apple here? A half-eaten apple. Uh, I think I'm going to crack a bottle up uh, upside his head. The only way to get hold of it was to distract him. Uh, not like that, though. 
<laughs> Don't do it like that though, uh, Omon Cherry. Oh, no. <sighs> I don't like where this going, viewers. I don't like it one bit. Alrighty. Uh, why is he breathing heavily? Oh, god damn it. I think uh, we might actually be using these uh, <laughs> bottles and crack it uh, upside his head. Uh... Lane was taking up more than his fair share of the sofa. Lane was taking up. Uh, because he's fat. I don't think I can do anything to the folder. It was a plain folder. There was a label on the front, but I couldn't quite make it out. I had to find a way to grab it without Lane noticing. Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to start talking to him since, uh, I really don't think we can interact with anything else. I decided to wait for a better... <laughs> uh, okay, I guess we'll have to talk to him. Uh, can I try and grab it if right If I now? try to reach across, I touch Lane's leg. <laughs> Lane was in the way. I couldn't get the folder with Lane sitting there. I couldn't get the folder. All right, let's talk to him. Monsieur Lane? Hector, please. Oh, the peepee. -pee. Don't talk about the peepee. -pee. Did I show you my press card? The sticky one. Maybe you should order a replacement. Um, nothing uh, new uh, with this uh, dialogue. All right. Uh, la maladie. So you on. really don't know who owns this app? I'm sorry, my dear. I really don't. Is he genuine about that, though? He might be. Is there anything you can tell me about the painting? It was an absolute treat to come across it. A true undiscovered gem. It looked nice, I gotta admit. There is no denying it is a fantastic painting. What can you tell me about the religious significance? Is it actually a famous one? Is La Maladixie actually a famous uh, painting? Or did they actually, did the good people in uh, uh, Revolution actually uh, painted that? Of course, there is a deep religious symbolism locked within the painting, too. Central to this must be the Pantheon of Saints. Uh, I guess we're well, gonna have to talk about the peepee. -pee. I see Henri had a statue of himself. Yes, for a man of high aspiration, he had alarmingly low taste. <laughs> well, I guess if he picked this so far, I can understand why. Definitely, uh, I don't know. I don't like it. Nevertheless, I shall miss him. We were like family. What will happen to this place now? Henri's widow will decide, poor soul. She may find it in her heart to keep me around. Oh, I'm sure she will. <laughs> Champagne? Oh, Hector. Perhaps I will join you in that glass of champagne. Oh, no. But of course. Champagne. Nature's bomb in troubled times. What was the saying again? Uh, well, life is a bitch, booze is a must. Well, it's at least <laughs> that's the saying from uh, one of the games that I have played. So, it was Darkwood. Darkwood, Darkwood. Well, Darkwood was a good game. Oh, I guess I can't... Uh, did you... Was it already opened? Did you clean the glasses? 
No? Oh, God. Uh... I think uh, the idea is uh, for me to actually spill the champagne on him or something like that. Lane was taking up more than his fair share of the sofa. Anything I can talk to him about? Did I show you my press card? The sticky one. So you really don't know who owns this? I'm sorry. Repeat it. Don't you think it's a bit awkward in here with so much of Henri looming over us. Just ignore it, my dear. <laughs> it's hard to do that. What can you tell me about the saints depicted in La Maledictio? As I said, I don't know which denomination the saints represent. Uh, they're not, uh, you know. Baptists? Or, uh, or whatnot? It was the champagne that Lane had poured for me. It was a glass of cheap champagne. It was the champagne that... Well, let's pick it up, I guess. Uh, hmm. Champagne in a cheap glass. I hope you think the glass is cheap. Champagne. I guess I'm gonna have to use uh, champagne on him. To new friends. To love. Uh. Ah, yeah. I knew it. Oh, but Joe, that is so cold. Oops, silly me. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'll have to dry this off. Don't you worry, my dear. Oh, now this task uh, is much easier. I'm not gonna slip him a Mickey or something? I guess not. In the folder was a list of all the paintings in the exhibition. La Maledictio had to be there. It was. And next to it was the owner's name. Mr. Madovsky. Mmm. We heard that name before. Bear Securities owner? The police had obviously not spotted the folder. I put it back. I would have uh, taken some pictures. I had what I needed for my story. Would have definitely taken some Monsieur pictures. Lane, thanks for everything. But I think I hear my editor calling. Ring, ring. Ma chérie, no need to leave so soon. It, it, it's only a little spillage. A little while later. And I found out who claims to own La Maledexio. Some guy named Madovsky. Uh, retalking uh, to the editor or George? Sounds Russian, right? My God. Why? Who is he? He's new on the old dark block. Fresh into London from Russia with ambition and a bloody reputation. What does he do? Call Art, this is way over your head. I'm going to put a more experienced crime journalist on the story. I can't afford for you to get hurt. What do you mean, no more experience? We pretty much, uh, seen, uh, like, she witnessed, uh, sacri sacrificial rituals in front of her, uh, in front of her eyes. Relax, Ronnie, this is my story. Leave it with me. Let's discuss it over lunch tomorrow. Oh, God. Are you gonna spill some champagne on his pants, too? Okay, but don't do anything more. See you tomorrow. Ronnie didn't trust me on this story, but I wasn't going to let him give it to someone else. I was going to have to move fast. 
Oh. Come in. How convenient. Hey, it's George. Hi, George. Great to see you. Is out of the... The prison cell? How did it go over at Vera? Pretty good. I found the gun that was used in the robbery. I'm impressed. A long story later. Annette, the manager at Vera Security, lied about the owner of the company. When I pieced together that shredded letter, I got a name, Medovsky. Medovsky, that's the same guy who claims to own La Maledictio. What? He owns the painting and Vera Security? Somehow. He has to be the one behind this whole scam. Uh, what's the goal, uh... What's the goal, though? Why did he do all of that? You're telling me! We have to be sure. Sure? In... In what way? <laughs> Another one. What the? What the? Well, at least he knocked. I cannot sleep on that bed. It is too soft. Josh, this is Senor Marquez. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. So you are this George, huh? Senor Marquez is staying in the apartment across the hall. Apparently, he's the real owner of La Maledictio. Quote unquote, real owner. No, I believe that's just actually uh, the kid that we've seen. What? I thought you said Madovsky was the owner. Senor Marquez claims the painting was stolen from his family during the Spanish Civil War. Really? Do you have any proof? Uh, only a picture. Senor Marquez, could you show him the photograph? Hmm. I guess the interesting thing, uh, you know, other than uh, the painting is uh, here. But oh, uh, we really, yeah. I was actually about to say, there's a missing section. Oh, we're actually gonna check the uh, the details on this uh, more clearly. Like, we can actually interact with the... Uh, check every possible thing. Not a, but we cannot check on the medallion. I think the medallion is gonna be important. A pair of statues stood on plinths on the mantelpiece. Stood on plinths, huh? The statues were quite striking. The statues were quite. St the statues were quite striking. Mm, I'm gonna need to leave the missing section for later. That's definitely La Maledictio hanging on the wall. Why did he sound like uh, this was uh, like a question? It belonged to my family, so it belongs to me. Well, I guess that's how it works. Well, if this is true, we won't make an insurance payout. The painting can't have two owners. Si, senor. But the money is not my concern. Marquez claimed the painting was his, but a dog-eared family photograph wasn't definitive proof. True. Marquez claimed the painting... Uh, only, uh... It only shows that, uh, it was, uh, it belonged to his family at one time. And that's about it. It was a grand fireplace. It was a grand fire. I guess that's, uh, him. How can we prove this is you as a child? The dates would tie up shells.
how can we be sure the picture dates to uh, whatever he claims it dates uh, to? You're certain this is you? Senor, I do not lie. The old man claimed to be the child in the photo, but without proof, it was impossible to say for sure. The old man... Yeah, not a good case for him. Who's this? My mother. A good woman. A saint. So, your mother also died in the raid? No, she got me out. It was Marquez's mother. It was Marquez's mother. Who is this? My father. When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. If the painting really was stolen during the 1930s, then this Smidovsky guy has no legitimate claim to it. But how can I be sure that you're the boy in that picture? I can prove it. Look at my father in the photograph. You see the medallion he's wearing? He gave it to me just before he died. This medallion has been in our family for hundreds of years. Hmm. Oh, I see a serpent. I see a serpent. You lost your father? Yes, he died when the fascists attacked our villa. Marquez's father wore a distinctive medallion around his neck. Marquez's father wore... A missing section? Part of the family photograph was missing. The very section that was so clear in Nico's photo. Huh. Wonder if that's gonna be important. Part of the family photograph was missing. The very section... Might be. The medallion. It's definitely the same medallion. I wouldn't say definitely. They look alike. A snake eating its own tail. That's also on the painting. Ouroboros. It is the Ouroboros. Uh-huh. The what? But come on, George. You don't know what the hell is an Ouroboros? The Ouroboros. It is a sign of my people, my family, my faith, the Gnostics. Oh. My father was a Gnostic leader. The Maledictio is sacred to the Gnostics. Hence, they both display the Ouroboros. Well, it does, um, uh, the painting does display. A snake eating its own tail. A snake eat eating his, its own ass. A priest I met said the painting was the devil's work. A uh, thing of evil. Uh-oh. Ha! <laughs> he would say that. Do not believe all you hear from the church. Whatever you think, the painting is mine. I mean, that's what's important in the end. If Marquez was the true owner of Maledixio, then Madovsky had no legal claim to it. Might be tough to prove, but if I could, we wouldn't have to pay out on the insurance. I gotta be honest with you, viewers. This is, uh, this is really smart. Like, we're pretty much, uh, the game definitely giving, uh, George a reason to actually pursue the painting. I'm sure that in the end we'll, we'll have to save the world. Something uh, is going to be linked to something disastrous in the end, but uh, uh, we are having some sort of a, a reason uh, for George, like a logical reason for him to actually pursue that because this is pretty much his job it's uh, for uh, you know to clear his company from uh, paying out the insurance money and that's it same for nico though so that's uh that's actually smart one is a uh, point to the writers so if the painting belongs to you how did madovsky get it 
One of the things that I really, really hate viewers when, especially this is something that they do usually in, in, uh, in RPG games, which you know, <laughs> bad writing and all that, uh, definitely is a is a thing there. Y y when you meet characters, when they design characters, they really don't give them that much of a purpose to join you and continue on with your journey. Like, and if they even uh, try to give a reason, usually it's. It's a nonsensical one that doesn't make sense. This is something that actually happened uh, uh, within uh, uh, within a game that I recently finished um, and let's play it on the channel. Uh, the Xenogear, the Xenosaga series, which uh, the protagonist Xion really didn't have any reason <laughs> to be in the journey, and she was the protagonist. She was the protagonist. She was the lady of the game herself, and she really never had a good reason to actually do uh, most of the stuff that she uh, uh, she did. And they could have done that with writing, with good writing. I could have uh, uh, like um, included her and gave her a reason, but they never actually mentioned that, and that's that's uh, that's immersion breaking. Uh, I think. What's the reason for uh, for her to be in here? Not to mention, there's a lot of stuff that RPGs do wrong, sadly. But, uh, yeah. Uh, things... Uh, some some of the things can be fixed with, with writing, and some of them actually don't. Especially when we're talking about, you know, a character like Xi'an, she's just a, a scientist, um, uh, some sort of an engineer. Uh, but for some reason, she had combat abilities. <laughs> like, uh, how do, can you explain that? The writing cannot explain all of that, unless you were gonna give her... Uh, like, uh, a combat uh, background, uh, even though she's young. Uh, just turning her into a Mary Sue, or uh, whatever the term is, which is, um, yeah. That's immersion breaking. So something like that, the, the, I feel like uh, game developers should uh, uh, take a lot of uh, attention to things like that. It's important. It's not something uh, uh, small. I just uh, the people just want to play the game. They don't. They don't give. They don't give that much attention to these kind of stuff. But no, I think it's really important for something like that to be established. It's extremely important. So if the painting belongs to you, how did uh, Madovsky get it? He was one of the fascists? Probably bought it. The fascists stole it. It went to Madrid, then Berlin, then after the war to Moscow. Ah, the Eastern Front. After that, it was lost. Until now. We need to talk to this Madovsky, but how do we find him? I don't think he's gonna be the most hospitable person. We're trying to talk to him. Oh, we're gonna control George again? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, what was your name again? Travis? I could hear the little fella scuttling around in there. Ah, this is the shredded letter. The letter mentioned a guy called Madovsky as the owner of Vera Security. On score? Senor Marquez. Yes? What do you think of this? <laughs> I would not use it to clean my shoes, monsieur. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Well, to be honest, neither would I. I... People do that? Clean their shoes with uh, the... With, uh, with uh, perfume? Gnostics. Mm -hmm. So, you don't like this fragrance? Stop that. <laughs> Stop it. Do you need to borrow my nail clippers? It's yours now? I prefer to bite my nails, monsieur. Uh, okay. Weird. I found this completion note for the security work done at the gallery. They went against my recommendations. 
I don't think he's uh, interested in something like that. And now my painting has been stolen. I don't suppose you have any use for a match. Why would I? Maybe, um... You still smoke. I remember, uh... Uh, knowing a, an acquaintance. Uh, he was old, of course. He was old, uh, like he um, he passed away when he and he was like he he passed away when he was ninety one or ninety two. That man <sighs> never stopped smoking cigarettes until the day he died. Viewers, he lost all of his teeth, probably even. From what I remember, lost his, uh, um, you know, his focus. You know, he he, he probably had uh, Alzheimer at one point. Probably, um, uh, like uh, probably um, uh, for years, for uh, for, uh, for some of his uh, late years, but. Uh, the thing that I remember whenever I actually see him, he always had cigarettes, cigarettes that he smoked, which is uh, <laughs> pretty weird, really. He lived to be 90 uh, something, 90, 91 or 92 viewers, which is uh, strange, strange, especially you, nowadays. Um, I know people that pr pretty much pass away in, the, in their late 50s, which is... Um, uh, weird how things, uh, go, viewers. Weird how things go. Want a cookie? You want a cookie, Senor Marquez? Maybe his sugar levels are low. No, it has been in your pocket and it's falling to pieces. <laughs> how do you know? It's been in my pocket. Uh, he's definitely gonna shoot me if I show him hey, this. Hey, Senor Marquez, meet Trevor. He is a cockroach in a box. Yep. He's my new pet. I'm getting rather attached to him. Paperclip? We didn't drop that for some reason. I found this paperclip. It's got to be useful for something. I imagine if you have any paper you need clipped. Well, I do have the paper. I found some evidence that ties Henri to the Dodgy Security Company. That doesn't surprise me. It sounds as though the whole thing was set up. But who would benefit from all of this? That's the problem. I'm gonna go with these options again, by the way. Marquez had let himself into Nico's apartment. He, he kinda knocked, though. So don't say that he let himself in. I wanted to believe Marquez's story, but I had to be sure of the facts. Yeah, but, but then again, nobody in told him to uh, to come in. So you know, I, I wanted guess. to believe Marquez's story, but I wanted to believe. I wanted to believe. Yeah, before I continue with him, I'm gonna check the area with George. We did check the area with Nico. But we never uh, heard George's thoughts. Nico looked excited. The gallery story could be the break that she craved. Nico looked excited. Nico had finally upgraded her computer. She used to have a computer? Even before this one? Nico had finally upgraded her computer. I don't remember. I don't remember if she had one. It looked like Nico kept her most secret possessions close to her chest. How do you know? It looked like Nico kept her... Dan, you've been there? You've been there? Goddamn Georgie! The door led out to the hallway. The door led out to the hallway. 